Hello Capricorns, I've got nine cards in front of me that look at you and your partner's needs, wants, future orientation, and what you both are holding on to. This reading is good for four weeks from the date of posting on YouTube. And I also do have a uh, reading for singles. So this is strictly for people who are in an established relationship. So you can, if you're either in between in terms of your status or you're single, I have a separate one and there will be a link in, in the information box below the video, as well as additional information about me and uh, the schedule that I have for my readings and when they come out. If uh, having perspective on your love life is important to you right now, do consider subscribing. Well, let's jump in. So I see, um, I see you feeling a little dissatisfied. Um, kind of restless, you know, dissatisfied and restless. I don't know that you're dissatisfied with your relationship, um, like overall, but there's something about it that's niggling at you. And what this reading would indicate is that it has to do with space of your own, or maybe a feeling that you need to compromise and that is making you feel like you should, you know, somehow let go or it's making you feel distant. Let me just put it that way. It's making you feel distant. But your partner, I think, and the partner is the larger cards here, is, is really in it for the long haul and wants to please you and make sure that you have what what you ultimately want. Um, so let's take a look at the individual cards. All right, and I'll just pick both of these up because they're, they're just so close. It's This is what I mean by this is what you need, this is what you um, want or say that you want. So what you need is this kind of space and I don't, I don't know what this character is down here very strange. Oh, it's a dice. It's a green dice. I don't know what the... Anyway, <laughs> they're a little strange, but um, to me, this is a solid structure. This is not. And I feel like you think that you want this, or you're telling your partner that, you, oh yes, this is enough for me. This is no problem. No, you really, you need this Capricorn, you need this solidity and you may need this amount of space to move around in. So, you know, this is obviously you need space, you need your own space, you, you need a fairly large actually, actually home or space in which to move. You need space and your partner needs separate space. This, even if you think you want it, is not going to be enough, is not going to, you know, so maybe this feeling of not being satisfied is because you're underestimating your own needs, okay, you're underestimating your own needs and that creates internal restlessness or discomfort. Um, yeah, so you might be projecting it onto the relationship but it's really not the relationship, I think, so much as your your relationship with yourself or your hesitation at allowing yourself to be satisfied, to, you know, allowing yourself to have this, admitting that you need this, this level of solidity and having your own space. Um, I see this as, um, a couple of different things. This is your partner. This is what your partner needs. So I feel like they need um, time to look, especially if you're house hunting. You know, this is a seeker. But I will say this, something I just happen to know about kingfishers is that they, um, they do have very solid houses. Kingfishers do not build nests in trees or on the ground. They actually build nests 
in the ground. So you see them at lakes and rivers because they burrow into river banks and that's where they make their nests or that's how where they have their I don't know that they make a nest they just burrow they, they <laughs> make a tunnel that can be as much as like six feet long and that is where they have their babies so I feel like your partner needs to look and find the right place for the two of you. Um, it could also be that your partner needs, um, how would you say, a couple of different things. For one, to to understand your emotions, to fully see your emotions, which are here. You know, he's seeking to see your emotions. Um, also, again, you have that they burrow into a bank so they have their home base but they are ranging so your partner may need a home or a space where um, where there is an opportunity for your partner to fish <laughs> to to make money to um, to know that the resources that your partner feels is needed for both himself and you as a couple is readily available. So what I see here is, for example, maybe one, you know, you want to be out in the middle of nowhere and, and your partner's like, but how do I make a living out in the middle of nowhere? How do I provide everything that we need out in the middle of nowhere? You know, that kind of thinking um, and again this is what you you want and I feel like your partner maybe wants to call in help you know when a wolf is howling it's often communicating with um, with others so maybe your partner is wanting to call in help for something you know I feel like maybe you are actually looking for a home um, or given this card maybe you're thinking about building a home and again, you're thinking about compromising. Oh, we don't need that much. You know, we can just get the flimsy stuff. We don't need to pay. <laughs> um, and now your partner has other plans. Is dedicated to doing it right. I think. Um, but this also speaks of communication. So if for some reason you're apart, again, there's a matter of communication. I see. You know they're like this wanting to communicate with you I don't know why your partner would be needing to call you to them I'm not sure what's going on there unless you are in, a, in another place entirely because certainly we we associate the howling of wolves also with a longing you know the solitary wolf longing to be with the pack longing to be with you wanting to be with you um, but still needing to somehow be, well, wolves are very far ranging also. Um, so this is your future orientation. And again, this is where I get the feeling that you want to be distant. This, uh, this levitating lady uh, does have butterflies all around her or dragonflies. So maybe you are willing to um, move if your partner is in a different location maybe you are willing to move um, but I feel like you're still unsure and feeling a little distant you're wanting to distance yourself and if you do that your partner has fully this is the salmon swimming upstream this salmon your partner considers you to be home and will take whatever leaps do whatever is required if you distance yourself expect expect your partner to come leaping for you <laughs> because this person considers you to be home so again I think you need to question if your dissatisfaction has to do with your own expectations or what you think is possible in terms of satisfying your expectations and whether that has to do with you more than your partner because here is what is what is each of you holding on to 
your partner is holding on to the idea that they have to work in order to provide for you. They're holding on to that. They have that as an intention. They fully intend to continue to work to provide for you. And I was thinking, again, to build for you, to eventually build this. Even if it's stick by stick, they are dedicated to providing what you need, not just what you you know, the, the pared down version that you say you want. They're willing to continue to build um, or to work for you. This card, they named it, whoops, responsibility. Um, so they're holding on to the responsibility that having you represents. You, what are you holding on to? It cracks me up when I get, you know, I've got the the position is holding on to and she's actually holding on to something. So I don't know if this is your partner, this little red lizard. Um, yep, I honestly don't know. This might be something you guys will have to tell me in the comments down below. What what does this represent, this little critter? Um, salamanders or lizards generally represent a couple of things. Um, Dreaming is one of them. So this could be you holding on to a passionate dream that you have. And that dream, I don't know what that, I think this is what you need. I don't know if this is your dream and so you're just trying to, <laughs> your dream is to simplify but you really need this. I, I don't know. So you're holding on to a dream. What was the other thing I was thinking at? Um, well, they are associated, just like this one is red, with fire and passion. So there you go. That's what you're holding on to. I don't get the impression, I mean, you might be holding on to your partner, but I feel like this is something that is yours. Um, in other words, again, it can be a dream that you have, um, it could be a pet, it could be a child, but it's something that, that my, my impression is it's something that you feel is yours and that you will never let go of as opposed to a, a partner, which I suppose is a little bit cynical because hopefully we would think of our love partners as somebody that we would never let go of either. Um, and I think that's it. Again, if uh, this is a time of life where it's important for you to have some perspective on love, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I do these monthly readings and I also have some other things planned in the future. Alrighty, take care. Bye-bye.